All right, so here we are, part five, the last part of our series on installing Active Directory domain controllers into Microsoft Azure Server. Um, as you can see, what I've done is I've logged into my portal here, and I have already changed uh, to a static IP for my first domain controller 001. So what I'm going to do is show you the process for changing my second to um, 10.0.0.30. So as you can see, I've already set this one to 29. We're going to set this one to 30. We're going to do this using PowerShell ISE. So I have PowerShell open. And if you like um, some help with PowerShell, a great way to start is to click right here, okay, which is going to open up the show command add-on. So the first command to run is the add Azure account. Okay, so one thing that I can do is simply come over here and type add and go to Azure and there's add Azure account. So I can go ahead and type that in and choose enter. It's gonna bring up that pretty standard box that you're used to seeing, there it is. And you'll type in your Azure account that you wanna get into. You'll choose continue. For me, I have multiple Azure accounts. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the one that I wanna log into. It is that account right there. I'll type in my complex password, if I could type, which I don't think I can today. There we go. It is pretty late in the evening, and I'll sign in. And what you'll notice is that box will disappear, and it will log in and authenticate me into my Azure account. So as you can tell, it's logged me in. And what we're going to do now is make sure that that static IP of 10.0.0.30 is actually available for us to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in test and then start typing Azure till I get to the Azure static VNet IP and I'll choose enter. Okay, now I have to tell it what IP. Well, for the VNet name of, in my case, my VNet name is MIIM Virtual Network. So I'm going to check this IP address on the MIIM virtual network, which means I need to tell it that I want to check the IP address of 10.0.0.30. Once I'm done there, I'll hit enter, and it'll go ahead and run the script. So it says that it doesn't exist. Let's see what I might have mistyped. As you can see, we all make errors. I'm going to go in here, and I can see what I mistyped. So I'm going to come down to my command line, choose the up arrow, and what I mistyped was right here. So I typed something besides network. So there's network. Now let's try it again. So I've executed that command again. And this time, as you can see, we are successful. So what I've done is I've asked it to check the IP address 10.0.0.30 on the VNet name of MIIM Virtual Network. And is it available? It says true. So if it did find that it was in use, it would say false and give me a list of available IP addresses that I could use. So now what I'm ready to do is actually go ahead and set the IP address. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by typing in get, and what I'm gonna get is my Azure VM. So there's get Azure VM. And I need to give it my service name. And my service name is MIIM Cloud. And then at that point, I'm going to tell it what name of what VM. And in my case, it is MIIM DC002 that I want to set that IP address for. So there's one command, which means I need to go ahead and pipe it. And then at that point, I'm going to give it the command to set. So I'm going to start typing set right there. And what I'm going to do is set the Azure static. And there it is right there. It'll complete it for me. So I just hit enter. I'm going to set the Azure static VNet IP. At that point, I need to tell it, give it the IP address of 10.0.0.30. At that point, 
I've got one more command to give, and that's simply the update. And what is it I want to update? I want to update the Azure VM. So I'll choose that, and then at that point, say enter, and it will execute the script. So this script is making a change, so it will take a couple minutes to do. Just be patient. Once it completes, you can see that it says the update of Azure VM, the operation ID, it was successful. So let's actually go back to my portal here, okay? And it's already updated, look right there. There is MIIM DC002 with the static IP address of 10.0.0.30. So that's it, I've got static IP addresses. I'm now ready to implement uh, whatever features and functionality I want to test or try as it pertains to my domain controllers or in a production environment for that fact. I'm ready to go. Thanks for visiting with us and thanks for following the series. Take care.